Okay, and we're gonna I'll show you what I mean. So where so Dragon Knight, what kind of basic shapes is he? Uh, like uh, cylinders and stuff. Yeah, tell me something about the character. He's he's a dragon type. He's a Pokemon, and he's cute to me. Awesome. Okay, so let's just start off with a circle for the head. So I'll just draw like a light circle. Draw lightly. Because we're going to have a stage later where we do a final drawing and that's where we can draw more firm. And uh, okay, so draw lightly, draw a circle here, okay. And then we're going to, then he's got, he's got sort of a, he's kind of like a pear shape, right? Yep. I think he's going to, okay, so we're going to come down like this, bring a line down. Bring another line down on this side. And he's got this curve here. Now, when you're thinking about gesture, you want to focus on the curve. So just draw a sweeping line like that. You can just go one stroke. If, okay, a sweeping line like that. Long sweeping line. Okay, so it's like, see how it comes out and bulges like that? All right. And then that's going to come into his tail, which will be right here. The curve like that. Okay. And now we're going to capture the, he's got a, and then this part here, he's gonna, he's got his arms here. So his arms are gonna be like this, sort of a shape. It's kind of like a ballooning out. It's smaller here and then comes bigger here. Sort of, uh, arms are usually like cylinder shapes. But in this case, it's kind of like, yeah, it's a cylinder, but it's like smaller here and getting wider here. So think about balloon almost, it's like ballooning out like that. Okay, now we're gonna get into his, uh, his legs, which are, it's gonna bulge out here. Like that, so a C, sort of a, a C-shaped curve here, okay, and then into and then, and it comes over here into a, it comes in and then out like that, in and out, something like an hourglass shape, okay, comes to this side here, all right, and then I'm going to do another curve right here like this. So this is kind of like a C-shape, and this is, this is just a curve like going like that, meeting up. All right, and then over here, we're gonna bulge out the curve like this. Okay, it's half partially hidden by, by his uh, st tummy here. And then over here, we're gonna come in and then, and then out like that. This is where his feet gonna be. Okay, we can detail the toes later. We'll think of the basic uh, shapes and and uh, the main, the pose first, the curves, and then we'll get into details later. Okay, now his other part of his tail is gonna be just about, right about here. Just sweeping in like that. So it's wider here and tapering narrower here. Just like his arms, narrower and then wider. Okay, and then over on this side, his shoulder's gonna be a little round. It's gonna be round like that. And then, and then it's gonna bulge out like that. And then, a, then follow it up with a curve here like this. Okay. All right, now for his head, okay, we're gonna come, here's the top of his head. We're gonna, at the top of his head right here, come down about this much. And then it's gonna be, I think of like, a, it's like it's got this hamburger nose. Reminds me of like hamburger bun. Look at that, it just curves in like this. So pop it out like here, and bring it in like a happy face right here. Okay, yes. And don't forget, you can use this, which is your? Best friend. That's right. You can use it to clean up your drawing. Okay. And okay, so now, now that you've got this part here, you're gonna come down like that. And depends how big of a happy mouth smile you want. Let's, I'm gonna put a little one of mine. Just like, right, right, like, like that. And it's gonna curve in like that. And then his tongue will be right about here. So just sort of an upside down U shape here. And then we're gonna make the bottom of his chin, which is right about here. See that? You just make a, a, a follow this line that you just made. And then it's gonna be, it's gonna taper more narrow here as it gets to this side. Okay. This is the other side of his neck. It comes right here. Okay, it's like that. It's gonna lead into there. Okay, now we're gonna draw his eyes. Oh yeah, his eyes. So we're now we're gonna draw his eyes. And they're they're up they're sort of a uh, yeah an upside down U shape actually. So we're gonna go start from as close to this. We'll start from close to this side first. It's an upside down U shape, followed by an almost straight line at the bottom. Okay, and then just uh, spread his eyes out a little bit, 
but not too far. See where that uh, end, of, end of his smile is? So right about like right about here. Go with another eye, the same shape. The inner detail is eye is going to be like right here, like that. One like that and one like that. And then we have like a, a wave shape at the bottom. One on that side and one on this side. Okay, and then we're going to put the shine of, uh, leave a spot for the shine of his eye, one on this side and one on this side. And then we can just fill this in a little bit. All right. We're gonna do, we're gonna put uh, his, uh, what are these things sticking out of his head? Um, I don't know. They're like little horns. But they're not, uh, they're like, not, uh, they're like, never mind. Okay, so we're drawing these shapes coming out of his head like this. Okay, so it's, uh, you're gonna curve up like that, come down and up. So come up and then down and around. Okay, and now the same goes for this side. Start from right about here, come up, come down, and up again. It's like a wave. It's a wavy shape. Come up, down, and around. Okay? All right. Let me make it a little bit more narrow as it gets to the end here. All right, there we go. Okay, now we can just check what we got. I want to make his head a little bit more thicker so I can just draw over that if I want to. Okay, now we're going to do his wings now. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's draw in his, uh, the rest of his neck, the inner detail here. Okay, so right here, starting from right about here, the bottom of his jaw here, we're going to come with a sweeping line up to here, like that. Okay, so his leg line is right here, but you're going to sweep a line that connects right to here. And now we're gonna do some, these line details on his uh, body. So one's here. Uh, okay, so we're kind of looking a little bit up at him. So we're gonna curve curve this way, kind of like, um, like see, the thing is like a U shape is, kind of like a U shape actually, this way. Okay, so here's one curve here, another one right here, another one right about here, another one right about here. Another one right about there, and, and so on, as you get to the top. Okay, there we go. It gets a little bit narrower and then wider here. It's narrower here and wider here as these lines go. Okay, and over here, uh, you can put a line right about here, tapering in here like that. It gets narrower tapering, meaning getting narrower here. And we can put some lines down like this. Same idea. Okay, now let's do his claws. What shape are his claws? Triangles. That's right. They're kind of like his fingers or his claws. So we'll just draw a triangle shape right here. And another one right about here. And another one right about here. And you can do the same for the other side. One right here. One right there. And one right here. Okay, and now over here, we're gonna draw his wings, which can stick up like that. Let's draw a line coming, a curve up, and then a curve down. It's kind of a triangle shape, actually. Always think of... Basic shape. That's right. Okay, so over here, think of your placement too. So right about here, this is his shoulder. So, you know, right about here, doesn't need to be exact. His wings are gonna come out. And here we go. So up and then down. And then down like that. And it gets narrower at the bottom. And then we're gonna come up like that, down again, and up like that. And then we're gonna just kind of put one line following to the center like that. Okay? There we go. And now let's detail his claws. So his claws, we're gonna put uh, this rounder on top here and then point, a pointy triangle at the bottom. So kind of like rounder on top into a pointy triangle at the bottom. And just repeat that. 
And over on this side here, same thing. Well, this side actually is the same thing, but on an angle. So it's round on the side and then into a sort of a triangle going this way. And it's, it's actually staggered. See, they're kind of like half hidden by the other claw. So you need to draw all of it. And you were working in pencil. So if you make a mistake or anything, you can just draw over your line because we're going to clean this all up later. We'll have a stage for that. So please stick around to watch the entire video. Don't go anywhere because we want to draw with you. Right? Yep. All right. So here we go. And now we can, oh, we've, let's put in some more details now. Remember in the beginning, we started off with just, you know, the big shapes. Now we're moving to the smaller shapes and smaller details. So let's put in his nostrils. So one little line, right? Uh, right about, let's figure out where his nostril goes. Now where you place it is kind of important. So I'm gonna put one right about here and one right about here. And don't worry about perfection because what's the most important thing? To have fun. That's right. And because we're working in pencil, you can use your eraser. Which is your? Best friend. That's right. You can erase as many times as you want. Nobody said you can't erase. Here, I'm gonna erase right now because I just kind of feel like it. Not that I even need to really. It's fine the way it was, but I just feel like refining something here. Let's see, I wanna bring the line up and around. I wanna make his head a little bit thicker. So I can do that, because I'm working in pencil. All right, and we can do that to the entire drawing. You can, anything you see you wanna change, you can. You can draw over lines to shape it. It's kinda of like working in clay or Play-Doh. You can just draw over your lines if you need to, to just refine those shapes. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just refining, I'm darkening some areas, reshaping some things. Now, if yours looks good, you don't need to do that. You don't need to follow me to do that part. But I'm just showing you. Oh, actually, another detail we forgot. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a detail right here. A little triangle horn right here. He's got a cute little horn here. It's just a little triangle. That's right. And I think we're pretty much done our Dragon Knight. But don't go away, kids, because we are gonna either do a finished drawing, which means that you're gonna lightly erase everything by putting your eraser. If you have one of these big erasers, put them flat and then go like this. To lightly put it, put it flat to lightly erase and then sharpen your pencil because that's gonna look a lot better when you do your finished drawing. So I've erased it lightly and we're gonna do a nice clean fluid line, a long line as if you're inking it. So like this, for example, just do a long sweeping confident line, a definite line, okay? Just go through that with your whole drawing. So you put your pen eraser flat and just do that to the whole drawing. Or you can ink it, which we're gonna do. So grab something to ink with and we're gonna ink our drawing and stick around for the whole video because we're gonna color as well. Yep. So you can either, you can do a finished drawing and then color it or you can uh, do a finished drawing and then ink it, or you can just go straight to the finished, uh, the inking stage. So grab something to ink with, all right? And um, let's see what I'm gonna ink with today. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a felt marker to ink with. You can use black, or you can even use a different color to ink with. Now, Dragon Knight is what color? Uh, orange yellow. Yeah, he's orange yellow. So you know what? You, instead of using black, black will work, great, but you can also use brown which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do a little something different. I'm gonna fine line with brown. I'm gonna use just black. Okay. What you're gonna do for fine lining or inking is you're gonna draw, you're not gonna draw hairy lines like back and forth, don't do that. You're not gonna draw sketchy lines with lots of lines. You're gonna draw one definite and confident line. So like this, for example, a perfect line. And take your time when you're inking. There's no rush. And you can turn your paper because that's gonna help you draw better because your arms and wrists move better in a certain motion. Now you can use your whole arm to draw, that also helps too. Aim for long lines that look very confident and definite. Watch this, one long line, all the way. Aim for as long and confident as possible. Look at that. 
Be confident with your lines. Draw them nice and long. Turn your paper, it helps a lot. You think Dragonite would mind, would mind being spun upside down? Uh, no. Some Dragonites, no. He likes to do what? Uh... Does he like to hug people? Uh, yeah. Ashes, Dragonite does. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Right, a big, confident, long line. There we go. Keep your lines nice and long. Dragon Knight Knight! <laughs> drag Drag! Night Night! Okay, so now we're gonna colorize. We're gonna color it, okay? And we're gonna be using felts. Or, yep! Yeah, felts or also known as markers. Yep. So we're just gonna color them in. Yep. And when you're coloring, follow the form. Start with a shadow shape. First. color. Okay, now I'm gonna blend in the. Uh, now we're gonna. I'm gonna blend in his shadow shapes more to everything else. So I'm just gonna go over it a little bit and see how I'm like making it go to the other part of the color as well, in between the two. But that'll just create. That'll just make it help it blend in a bit more.
so we're gonna put, I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow underneath his neck here. Let's draw some sort of a round shape. It's casting a shadow. Okay, well, we, we hope you enjoyed, enjoyed drawing Dragon Knight with us. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.